In this video, I will show you how you can install Python on a Mac computer. And the process is a bit different than with Windows computers. And that's because by default, some Mac computers already have Python 2 installed out of the box. So we're going to navigate to python.org, then navigate to downloads, and you will see here the latest version of Python. At this moment, that's Python 3.12, but it's very possible that at the moment that you watch this video, there is already a new version. Just download the latest version by clicking on it. And then as soon as the download has been completed, just click here and click here to start the installation wizard. The installation wizard will start. I'm just going to click continue. Then after the installation has been completed, your PC will ask you whether you want to move the Python installer to the bin. And that's what you want to do. Now let's open the terminal. So navigate to your launchpad, then type terminal, and then open the terminal here. And now you can type Python 3 minus minus version. I see that Python 3.12 has now been successfully installed on your machine. We also want to make sure that pip has been installed. So I'm also going to type pip 3, press enter. I see that you get a bunch of commands, which means that pip has also successfully been installed on your machine. Now, when you watch a video which has been recorded in Windows, you might see something like this, Python. And every time someone types Python, you just have to type Python 3. And the same with pip. So let's say that you see, for example, pip install Selenium. In that case, if you're running on a Mac computer, you just type pip 3 install selenium like this in order to install vs code we're going to navigate to code.visualstudio.com and then you see here download mac universal stable build click on this button in order to install vs code once the download has been finalized just click here right click here click on show in finder and then we're going to take visual studio code and we're going to drag it to our applications in order to install it when you now open your launchpad, VS Code will appear in your launchpad and you can open it by clicking here on Visual Studio Code. Now in order to use it, I'm going to create a new folder in the Finder. Let's call this one Selenium Course, like this. And then I'm going to drag it to VS Code. So take the folder, drag it to VS Code. I will see VS Code will automatically open the folder. Now in VS Code, you can install all kinds of extensions, but I'm definitely going to recommend you to install the Python extension. So navigate to here, extensions, these blocks, uh, search on Python, and then you will immediately find the Python IntelliSense extension, which is created by Microsoft. Just click here on install in order to install the extension. Once the extension has been installed, let's navigate back to our folder, and then let's create a new file here. So just click here on the file icon, and let's call this file main.py. And let's put this on the screen. Print. Hello world. Normally VS Code should also ask you whether you want to trust this file. And if VS Code doesn't ask this, just go to the terminal. Click on new terminal. And now you will get this notification. Do you trust the authors of the files in this folder? You want to trust them. So click here. And now it's time to run a script. So let's click here on the play icon and run a script. And you see the outcome here, hello world, which shows you that Python 3 has successfully been installed on your machine and is now integrated with VS Code.